Active shooter preparedness. This is Throttle a Prepper. Active shooter preparedness. This is Throttle a Prepper. Welcome to the program. How you doing? My name is Jeff. Thank you to all the subscribers and uh, an invitation to those of you who are just finding this channel or haven't uh, drank the Kool-Aid yet, as we like to say here, uh, please go ahead and subscribe to this channel now. Share, share, share. Uh, go nuts. And make sure you stop by the website, throttleupprepper.com, and uh, have a little look around and see what's new. We've got uh, some stuff there you might just be interested in. So active shooter preparedness. Uh, first of all, thoughts and prayers out uh, to the family members, friends, uh, victims of the shooting, uh, especially those uh, who passed on and didn't survive, and uh, 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 other prayers out for quick recovery for everyone uh, still hospitalized, still uh, recovering from this horrible, horrible, horrible uh, shooting that took place in Las Vegas just a few days ago. Uh, it is uh, Thursday afternoon as I'm recording this, and been trying to think of uh, how to address this without touching the politics, staying away from that third rail, without, um, y you know, doing all this crazy, never-ending, nonsensical a analysis that goes on uh, on all sorts of news uh, outlets. Because we don't know. We don't know anything until we know. And then when we know, we'll know. <laughs> That's my analysis. You like it? Um, but, but seriously, you know, how can we turn uh, a tragedy into something that would be useful and helpful? And uh, I did some research, and I, I would just encourage you uh, to go to the Department of Homeland Security's website. I'll put it below. It's dhs.gov. Easy enough to remember for those of you that are afraid to <laughs> go to government websites. Uh, I'll tell you what I, what I learned today. Um, you know, there's basically, uh, uh, obviously, if you can avoid uh, being in places uh, that might be targets, um, by all means, avoid them if you can. Uh, maybe you're one of these people that don't want to be deterred from anything uh, that you want to do uh, because of threats or possible threats. And you know what? God bless you. More power to you. I'm, I'm, I get it. Uh, and who, who would have thought? Uh, just a few days ago that uh, an event like this uh, could possibly uh, be the target of something so heinous. I think the reality is there's no way to predict these things. Uh, so the location, maybe it matters, maybe it doesn't matter. You know, sometimes these things, you know, just happen. But the bottom line is the first thing that happens uh, usually for a lot of people is hesitation. Fear sets in denial you know they hear a gunshot and, and instead of you know jumping into action uh, they, they freeze and what was that you know oh, it had to have been anything but you know, what it sounded like um, so uh, I'm gonna put a link in the description by the way to uh, a very specific video on the DHS website that I think will be helpful that explains in a lot of detail on you know what to do and how to react but but essentially everything comes down to three choices uh, and believe me your adrenaline will kick in your fight or flight uh, instincts will will be there and it comes down to run hide uh, or fight now you know depending on who you are where you are uh, whether or not it's legal to carry in your state, uh, whether or not you're legal to carry in your state or in a particular establishment, uh, there's a million uh, factors to consider. But the bottom line is, um, and they tell you, if you can get out, get out and get out as fast as you can. Don't hesitate. Once you commit to running, run with everything uh, that is within you. Um, and, and, and an important lesson to interject here is I heard, and I don't recall if it was uh, audio uh, tape or eyewitness testimony, but I, I heard something that the person who was telling me was kind of shocked and surprised, but it makes total sense. It's that the police were uh, urging 
other law enforcement uh, types not to stop and help victims. Um, sounds pretty heinous, right? No, no. Yes, you got to help the victims, but not in the middle of an active shooter situation. First and foremost, from a law enforcement perspective, you got to secure the area. Uh, just again, look back at this horrible weekend. Uh, you know, an off-duty firefighter giving CPR to somebody in the middle of the shooting. Amazing, heroic, selfless act, uh, but it cost him his life. And uh, you know, husbands uh, dying getting shot trying to shield wives and, and, and it just goes on and on the the advice if you want to survive uh, you're not looking uh, necessarily uh, for anything other than survival is is you got to get out until the place is secure it has to be done ambulances arrive on, on a scene uh, of an active shooter before the police arrive or before they have a t chance to secure the, the area EMTs aren't going in so your first option is to run. Second option is to hide, uh, you know, sheltering in place. You know, if you're in a building or an office uh, or you know, some other location where hiding is an option, uh, do it. But they also recommend that you not only hide, but that you remain as silent as possible and get as low as possible and behind as many things as possible. You know, just standing or, or even squatting um, uh, and an interior wall doesn't offer much protection. You know, typically uh, two by fours are 16 inch on center. So basically for every 16 inches, you got 14 inches of space that is wide open and, and vulnerable. And believe me, it's, it's, it's uh, a bullet's gonna go right through that like a knife through butter. Uh, so it offers very little, uh, if any, protection. So get down low and get behind a desk, behind a file cabinet, whatever you can do to put uh, distance and uh, mass between you and the shooter, if that's an option. Now, if you're with kids, it's, you know, and they're crying, hiding is probably not going to be an option. Uh, if you're at home and you got a dog that's barking, hiding is probably not an option. And finally, it brings us uh, to fight. And they urge you, and again, I urge you to watch the video follow the link in the description to the uh, video from the Department of Homeland Security on this topic where they get much more in, in detail you got actors and, and, uh, and dramatizations and, and will paint a much better picture for you uh, than I'm probably doing but the idea behind fight is you're fighting for your life so if you find yourself where that's the the, the option you're going with you got to go with it with everything that's within you you got to commit to it you got to be all in, as they say. Can't hold back. Can't worry about the consequences. Um, it's it's that or nothing. If it, if you find yourself in that situation. Uh, so again, uh, I'm not a you know the shell answer man here with all the answers. I'm not in law enforcement. I wasn't in the military. I wasn't uh, you know crap. I'm legally blind. <laughs> you know, running is probably not necessarily a fantastic option for me uh, unless. It's at night and I'm in my own home and I know my way around. Um, but then, you know, I've, I've got a family and I've got means to protect myself. I'm not running if it's at home. But every other place I could possibly be, 99.9% .9 chance that's not a good option for me. Not at all, unless I happen to be by an exit. Uh, maybe. Hiding, lost some weight. I'm easier to hide now. But again, you know, I got kids, I got a dog, I got, you know, my own emotions I'd be crying like a baby uh, to be honest with you I'm not proud of it I'm not proud of it I'm just saying this the reality is you know my heart pounding and my heavy breathing would probably give me away uh, realistically um, and I, I'm certainly not interested in a fight uh, you know some of the best YouTube channels out there with law enforcement and military people that say if you can if you can avoid the fight get out that's a last resort even for those guys uh, so again for me you know, last resort, but God forbid that day comes, I gotta do it again now. I, I've, I've gone over scenarios enough in my head and, and, and trained and done some things that I, that I know uh, I, I could do what I had to do. Whether it would be successful or not, who knows? And, and again, 
<laughs> as God is my witness, may I never have to find out. But please, you know, let's use this opportunity as a reminder that we all need to practice preparedness in every area of life. And a uh, sad fact is, um, you know, it happened again. Uh, and, and, and chances are it may happen yet again. I pray not. Uh, but it's, it's wise uh, for all of us to be prepared for whatever comes our way. Again, please subscribe to this channel, share it with a friend. Until next time, God bless and stay safe.